Hey everybody, it's Sherry at the Crafty Decorator. <laughs> I'm in headquarters and I am going to uh, decorate this flocked wreath that I showed you a while back. Remember I said I want to put this deer head in the center? How cute would this be? Um, so I'm finally getting around to that. Okay, this is a 25 inch pre-lit timer wreath. It's flocked. Do you see it? Can you see the lights in there? They're fairy lights. It comes with this battery pack here. So you take three AA batteries, not included. It has an off, on, and timer switch. So we are going to decorate this. <laughs> okay. I wanted to put something in the center. So I am using a 14 inch round wood circle. This is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. It was in my stash. I believe it's what part of one of those packages they have hanging. I think you get like three boards in it or something. So I drilled the holes. I drilled one on the top and one on the bottom so I can wire it to my wreath. I wanted to cover the board. I was trying all different stuff. And in my stash, like, maybe a month or so ago, I was in Dollar Tree and I found this lonely gold placemat laying on a shelf. <laughs> so I bought it. I knew I'd do something with it someday. Um, if you can't find one, Hobby Lobby does sell the glittered placemats. So check there. So I drilled the holes. I mod podged my placemat on. It was bigger than my circle. So I just trimmed around with a pair of scissors. And took and poked holes through where I drilled into my placemat. So I know where my stick my wire through. So I am going to wire this to my wreath. So I have something pretty in the center. And I am just using a floral wire. I cut one of my floral wire pieces in half and I am just going to wire it to the wreath. So I'm going to wrap my wire around the wreath frame first and then stick it through my hole in my board. And wire it. Now I'm going to twist them a little bit back here. I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to tighten it with um, my needle nose pliers. But I want to get first the top and the bottom wired in. So I'm going to, and I got to make sure that it's centered and I'm covering the whole middle of my board here, my hole. Okay, I think that's going to be good. So I'm going to wrap my wire around here. And then I'll come through my hole. Make sure it's good. And twist. And then somewhere here, oh, here they are. I have a piece of a pair of needle nose pliers and I'm just going to twist this nice and tight. And then I'm going to cut off my excess wire. Cut this. Don't want all that wire hanging. All right. Let's push that down this side I feel like I'm making this complicated it's not complicated okay So this is not live. <laughs> this is pre-recorded. Okay. Got my wires 
done. I just want to get that down because I don't want it um, like scratching anything that I hang it against. So I'm just going to make sure my wires are bent down into the greenery. All right. So look. How pretty is that gold in there? It's so sparkly. I love it. I love it. Um, I'll shut the lights off later so you can see how pretty this looks with the lights. And I think I'm going to Velcro the, the battery box to the back. Okay. I kept thinking, what am I going to put in here? What am I going to put in here? I was trying all different things. I was trying tinsel garland. I was trying ribbon. And nothing was just doing it for me with the deer head. So I went in my stash and I found this ball garland that I got last year at Michael's. It was either 40 or 50 off. It's regular $21.99 and then it was 40 or 50 off. So I am going to feed this into my wreath. And it's going to be a little bit bigger, so I kind of zigzag it around to take up more balls. And I do not zip tie it. I do none of that stuff. I lay it in here, and then I'm going to take one of the greenery's stems, and I am just going to put it between two balls. And then that holds it in place. Whoops. <laughs> that holds it in place. So now you can like pre-lay uh, it in here to see exactly how you want it. And then you can go back and put the branches in between. Because I'm trying to see how I want it here. I need to kind of zigzag it. Like go out to the center. And then out to the far end. And back down, I think. Okay, I'm going to start hooking a little bit of it. So do I want to go out that way first? I think I want to go out here. That's why I say you should like kind of pre-lay some of it in there just to see how you want it in there. And then go back and hook your branches. Okay, I'm going to start hooking some of my branches in there. So, just squeeze them, maybe I want this one, between your balls there, to hold it nice and tight in place. Now, if you want to wire it down, you can, or zip tie it in there. I just found this was okay. Just trying to see. I think I want to go up this way. I want to make sure you could like kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, This is how it's looking. I love 
these balls in there. They look vintage. Now see, I, I need to make sure I'm using enough of my balls here because I don't want to end up with too much down there. This has to come out, I think. Out, over. Am I liking that? Not sure. I'm not sure. I feel like I feel like I need more up there, up top here. So let's see. I go up here. <laughs> It's just like playing with it to see how you like it. I think this should come under here. It's just like a puzzle just like a puzzle. Now I gotta watch I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't do too much zigzagging where I'm not gonna have enough. That's out there. I kind of like the blocking in there. Now, let's see. Do I want to go? Well, just going with it here. Let's see. like maybe I went in too far there. Bear with me. Bear with me. I feel like I went too far in here to the center. Looks like that. I think that's better. I think that's better. I'm not a wreath maker, so, <laughs> so bear with me. I just always keep playing with things till I get it to how I like it to look. See, now I ended up with a little too much, so I need to do a little bit more over here. Gonna be good. I 
it starts to get very tight <laughs> at the end because you've been taking up space with the branches. All right, let's see what this looks like. I need to get this locked in there. that locked in there. Okay, let's just see. Huh. <gasps> How pretty is this? I think it's so pretty. I'm trying to see. Okay. I'm probably going to have to add a hanger on the back to hang it. But we'll do that at the end. All right. So look, I have this. And then I was trying to decide, do I want to glue my reindeer in there? Do I want to glue them in there? I was thinking about hammering a nail in there because he does have a hanger. But if it gets real windy in the winter out there, I don't want this to blow off. But what if you don't want this deer head all the time? What if you kind of want to change it to a snowman or something? Um, I'm going to try this. <laughs> I'm going to try this Velcro. It's uh, extreme and it's supposed to be for rough surfaces. So this is a little bit... Very smooth, but glittery, like no, no glitter comes off or anything, but they're supposed to be extreme. So we are going to take one of these, <laughs> these strips, and we are going to hook it to the back of our reindeer here. I, put, I always push my two strips together first and then peel one piece off. And I'm going to hook it right down the whole back. The strip is perfect to fit this. Then I'm going to peel this part backing off of this one. And then I got to center him in there. I always have a hard time getting these off. Come on now. There we go. All right, so let me look now. Which is my top? Because I kind of want the battery pack hanging towards the top. All right, so this is where I want to center him. I might need to fold that in there. Okay. I got flocking on him. All right, let's see what he looks like. Hard for me to tell. Oh gosh, look how cute he is. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Um, okay, so I was going to stop there. I ran to Walmart because I was thinking, do I want a bow? Uh, I feel like this just needs a piece of flocking through here to break up the bulb look. Yep. Okay. Um, so I bought some bows and I'm not, I'm not really caring for a bow, but 
wait till you see what I found. And I think, I just think it gives it a little bit more vintage look. I found, whoops, these 12 multicolor C7 lights. They are battery powered. They take three AA batteries and they are a timer. And wait till you see them lit. Okay, look how cute these bulbs are. I'm going back and buying some more of these. I'm going back to get some more. So I put these, I tried these in there and I am loving them in there. So these are $5.98 a box. You get 12 of these bulbs. Now I just need to see where do I want my battery pack. Because we are going to, um, Velcro those battery packs in there. But wait till you see how darling <laughs> this looks. I just want to get my wires. And I kind of just feed them. Wrap them around in there. And I think I'm going to need two, so I have two lit up. But, oh, they're so cute. What do you see? I just need to see how am I getting that. Because I don't want to really see my wires. <laughs> what do you see? I'll keep these. Look, <gasps> these look so cute. So I need to hide my wire. Goodness, they are the cutest little bulbs. I am definitely going back and getting a couple more boxes of these bulbs. I just think they're so cute. Well, I could... Let's see. I want to make sure that I'm not going to have too many if I use another box. Just trying to hide my wires. I'm going to wrap this one around so it stays on. Okay. I don't know. I'm just loving it, guys. <laughs> I am just loving those lights on there. Let me do this one. So I need to, let's see, start it. I think I'm going to start it over here where I ended. Because then I'll have a battery pack on that side. And I won't be weighing all of one side down too much. So let's hook this around there. So, so cute. Don't get tangled.
see. with like two reds together. <laughs> Let's do it up here. Oh, goodness. So cute. All right. Now I need to... Let's Velcro our battery packs to the back. Probably should have did this before. I don't think I need this whole piece, so I'm just going to cut them in half. <laughs> this is so cute. Where do you see this? It's so cute. Okay. I am just going to Velcro these onto here. You'd think my fingernails would get this tape. Goodness, goodness, goodness. <laughs> I should just forget about Velcroing these and show you it with the lights off. I got to run over there to turn the lights off. I think I'll let the last one go and Velcro it um, when I get off. Because there's that. And I was going to do this one. Fuzzies. Walking, I should say, not fuzzies. All right, let's just see. If I don't get these easy, we are just going to skip this up and be nice to me. There we go. All right. Then I would just take another piece of wire, another piece of floral wire, and I would make a hanger 
Let's see, where's my top? All right, this is gonna be my top. So I would just feed this through the rim of my wreath. And bring it up and make a hanger. So you could just make a hanger to hang it with. Okay, let me shut the light off. <laughs> I got to shut the light off to see how this is looking. Hold on. Yes, don't kill yourself, Sherry. Okay, look how pretty this is. Is this not so pretty? I am not a perfect person. I am not a good wreath maker, but I think this came out pretty cute. All right, let me turn the light back on. All right, guys, that's it. So the wreath is um, $55 in my shop. You can find it under wreaths. Uh, and this is under Christmas. The deer head is 30 but you can put whatever you want in the center. But I am just loving this because it looks very vintage. It looks very vintage. Okay, thanks for watching. And sprinkle if you like this video. Have a good night. Bye.